hi everyone welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to install windows through your network so you just need to follow me before we start this video make sure that you have disabled secure boot on your computer on your system if you want to check secure boot is disabled or enabled you need to go to your start window and type sysinfo and after that you can see the secure boot is enabled or disabled the best part is you can configure it on your virtual machines also like virtual box or vmware for that you need to disable secure boot on your virtual box or virtual vmware whatever you are using okay so at first you need to open your browser and i will just open google.com and i will search on google server and i will go to this first website which is pxc server for windows so simply click on that the url should be workcode.com okay after that click on this download button from the left side over here now scroll down here you will get two type of installation so download this one which is server community of uh, version 5.0.0 the current version i'll click on this download button and as you can see it is downloading and download completed successfully now simply i will click on open file after that i will open another tab and go to this pc go under c drive now here i will create one folder the folder name will be server after that i will go under that folder now simply i will drag drop all this file on this folder done now i will open this server 64 bit okay so double click on it so because it is community version you have to wait for a few seconds uh, simply click on this button now you need to allow the firewall settings click on allow now here i just need to click on ok so after done you need to uh, click on this server icon on your left side corner and click on settings after that click on tftp now here you need to check this option which is tftp server on tftp server root directory you need to click on browse and under desktop i will create one folder the folder name will be pxc install okay so i have to click on desktop over here or else click on click from here now find that folder here it is as you can see so double click on it so i'm under that folder now i'll click on select now my location is this this one as you can see now i'll click on dhcp and i will not use dhcp server because my router have already dhcp server configuration so i'll use proxy dhcp and the uh, service add-on BINL okay now after that click on bind DHCP to the this address now here I have to select my IP address which is 192.168.0.45 now click on ok once it will done close the window close this server community once again you have to open the server now as you can see under this folder no folder is showing so now it will create automatically few folders so I'll click over here and after open it will automatically create it few folders as you can see so now i'll simply close this window after folder created successfully i will uh, close this window so as you can see here is my windows 11 iso file okay simply what you have to do you just need to right click on iso file and click on mount and after mount it will show you on your on my computer means this pc under this pc go under that folder and copy each and every files and folders just simply copy and simply paste it under wia wds and under this folder i'll create one folder the name i'll provide sorry new folder the name i'll type over here windows 11 under this folder i will paste everything
after done you just need to uh, go back to your main uh, folder after that right click on your wia underscore wds folder and go to properties and here you need to click on sharing now click on advanced sharing first click on share this folder this option you need to check and share name make sure that you have put it proper share name which is wia underscore wds underscore share in caps okay make sure that you have put it the same name over here share name and after that click on permissions and here select everyone and check our full control to this folder after that click on apply then okay now click on apply okay once again click on share and here from the drop down you have to select everyone and click on add now on read and write you have to select over here read and write and click on share and here you need to select that option which is yes turn on now click on done now close this window after that on your windows 11 you need to go to your settings simply right click on your start window click on settings or else you can press windows plus i after open settings window click on network and internet from your left side over here on your right side you have to click on advanced network settings now here you will see advanced sharing center uh, settings so click on that now here you will see uh, private public and all network so expand all of them now check this option which is file and printer sharing and password protected sharing you need to turn it off and public folder sharing you need to turn it on after that you need to close this window now again you need to go under server folder now open server 64 now as you can see it is showing wia underscore wds underscore share is okay that means it is configured uh, correctly now you need to go to that pc where you want to install windows through network you need to open bios settings and after that disable secure boot next you need to enable network boot from your bios and after that you need to save that one and open your boot menu on boot menu you have to select pxc network boot Here you need to press enter from your keyboard. On domain user, you have to type the name called everyone. Okay, after that, click on connect. After connect, it will give you a Windows 11 installation screen. So before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members, a special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.